Hello everyone, quick intro to this video. If you're watching this on the Freedom Crawler channel, again, we are gonna keep this channel more adventure related and off-roading, so you will no longer see any sailing videos on this video. We're moving everything to our SV Scalawag channel that we had years ago. If you're watching this on the SV Scalawag channel, thank you guys for supporting this channel and sticking with us. Um, if you don't know, we actually had to get rid of our boat. We had a 23 foot hunter, as most of you saw, um, that we were learning to sail on. Unfortunately though, we thought we were moving to Colorado and we put everything up for sale. The boat was actually the first thing to sell. So that actually sold pretty quick. And then we found out at the end that we weren't moving to Colorado. So we didn't have a boat anymore. Kind of waited a while and I came up with new requirements for a sailboat. And that's what this video is all about. So we're getting back in the sailing game. I'm excited to get out on the water. I'm actually going today. Um, it's June 13th. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Here you go. Thank you guys again. Check this out. Good morning, and for all of you who followed along with us with the original Sailing Scalawag channel, I appreciate it, and welcome back, because we are back, folks. David is back. Um, I'm so a little hesitant on the boat. It kind of scared me, gave me a little anxiety. Um, from what y'all can tell from the previous videos. So, David's looking for a boat. And um, he's supposedly going to learn how to sell it well. Wait, lighting. He's gonna learn how to sell it well, and then maybe I'll get out there with him again. Um, it was just a little hard because, sorry, I'm turning this into a video that it's not supposed to be. Anyways, we're looking at a sailboat. We're in Waco right now. We just stopped at the Collins Street Bakery. So good. And now we are headed to see uh, the first boat. I had a couple requirements for finding the boat and this is what I'm looking for. I wanted something that was basically under 23 feet, preferably 17 to 23 feet. Um, if I could fit it in the garage, that'd be great. We have a pull through garage, so if I could fit it next to the house, that'd be even better. So height wise, I wanted it to be under seven feet or able to get under seven feet. Um, I wanted it to be easy enough to um, launch and set up, rig up myself. Um, if I was out there by myself, so something not too crazy as far as that goes. I did look at getting another 123, but they hung too low and they, they just stood up too tall. And I think it would have just been a little bit too hard for me to manage for myself. So we kind of nixed that one. In replacement of that, I've narrowed it down to a couple boats. A Compact 16, a West White Potter 19, which is actually my first and favorite choice. They're just a little bit more money. And there's not one really locally around. No, but we are gonna go look at one in Arkansas, hopefully. This guy's not gonna let me go. We are headed to Arkansas for the weekend um, to kind of just do a weekend trip, a little vacation. So, he found one in Arkansas that hopefully we'll be able to go take a, a little gander at. Yep, so a couple compact 16s to look at, a West White 19, a Lindenburg 22 is actually the first one we're going to look at. That's, that's what we're going to look at first, and We'll see from there. The Lindenburg 22 is kind of a wild card, but it replaced the 123 and Catalina 22 style, where it's a little bit longer. Um, it's got a swing keel still, so it lays low. Um, fast boat, which will be kind of fun. Um, so it's just kind of an option that we're gonna look at too. So those are the, the top three choices right now. We'll see what we end up with. I'm just excited to get back out there on the water and sail. I've been wanting to sail for a while, and I had such a great time with it in the beginning that I'm ready to get out there again. Short people problems. <laughs> well, it's a, I mean, it's a nice looking boat for its age. Plus they're really limited edition. There's only 50 of these ever made. This is number 20. Um, height and width wise, I think it's great. Fits on the trailer really well. I think it may be a little hard for me to manage by myself. Um, just just the, the size of it and everything. But the other ones we're looking at are gonna be two and a half and, well this is 21 and a half feet and the other ones are 19 and 16. So big difference in size too. About five feet shorter. Um, I feel comfortable with this length. There's so much cabin room too. Like everything from here forward is just all cabin space. So there's a, real, a whole bunch of cabin space. Um, 
And the controls are all nice. I like how they're all set up and everything. Um, I like this back portion where it just kind of drops off and swoops out. So you kind of just have like this real clean part where you can just hop in and out of the water and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it could be a really fun boat. I think it could be a really fast, fun boat. Probably need some work, yeah, obviously, but all old boats do. She really likes these stripes. But. On a scale of one to 10. Um, out of, for what I'm looking for, I give it a, I don't know how to rate it yet. I would say six or seven. It's pretty high. Yeah. Let's see how long this whole thing is. Okay. Is that still at the back of the motor? Yeah. So, about 26 feet long. Now I really apologize, we did get footage of the Lindenberg 22 and I was able to show you that just now, but we didn't get any footage of the second boat that we went out and saw. What we ended up going with was the second boat actually, and it was a compact 16. Um, we bought it from a great lady out in Lufkin and just phenomenal, um, really, really nice lady. Uh, it was the second boat I went out to look for. Um, the dimensions were just perfect, the price was perfect, everything about it was really um, good for what I was looking for and it just kind of worked out really well. I would have really liked to go look at the West White Potter uh, 19 However, it was a little bit bigger than my garage would fit and it was at the extreme top of my budget So I figured rather than go and tease myself with looking at that I just go with what fit into every category of what I was looking for and went with the compact 16 And I'm really really happy with it. It's a 1978 compact 16 needs a couple things here and there but I'll go over that a little bit more. Right now I'm just going to do a quick walk around. I apologize for the music. I'm still working on getting good music for this channel. But I'll go ahead and show it to you now rigged up and ready to go. Thank you all so much again. I really appreciate it. On a side note, um, we did I did compromise with Shay and I bought her an inflatable stand-up paddleboard. I'll do an unboxing video for that maybe uh, for you guys. So that way while I'm out sailing and learning how to sail she can at least be at the lake help me unload and reload and she can be paddle boarding around and then when she sees and feels more comfortable with me out on the water then she'll hop on the boat with me she's going to come sailing she just obviously um we got to get some experience i do have people who are going to come teach me too um so it's going to be a little bit of myself teaching for based off what i read and learn and other people coming out too so always looking for advice thank you guys so much it's been, a, it's been a lot of fun. I know Shay's kind of a little weary on it, but um, we'll, we'll take it in good steps this time. And the adventure is going to continue. So thank you all again, and uh, check out the boat.